Hey everyone, this is Julia, the Nomadic Crafter with a general, much delayed um, and anticipated no, <laughs> uh, general update for you. So I've been uh, not really uploading videos as often and basically it's because I'm having a lot of trouble doing that. Not only uploading the videos taking, you know, like three hours to try and upload a video. I have a beautiful video of um, Ocean Beach Sunset Cliffs for you. Oh my God, but it will not upload. Um, not only trouble uploading videos, like I say, taking three hours and whatnot, but my uh, I just got my computer back up and running for now, but I'm going to need another one. I had I bought a cord. And I bought a, a power, a small power bank to keep my phone charged, which I've been working on. Um, but that got stolen at the library. There's like a lot of people in there, uh, pretty much just doing nothing but charging stuff and watching videos. So, yeah, I left it and didn't watch it or whatever for a minute or whatever. I might have left it there uh, at the end of a session. I was working on their computers, so I was frustrated. Um, but, um, all of these uh, blockages I keep having with the technology. Also, my phone will now not make phone calls or receive phone calls and it won't pick up phone numbers on Craigslist when I'm looking for vans or other opportunities. And all the van people I call when I tell them I can't make a phone call, just text. They think I'm a scammer. I'm actually sending them pictures of me with my van. Like, Hey, no, I'm, I'm really a van person looking for a van. So, um, so the phone is having trouble with that. Um, also the web browser keeps going down when I'm trying to upload a video or do other work. It's gotten so ridiculous that really guys, um, considering the fact that upping my YouTube channel, making it much better, more value, better quality is one of my big goals for 2019. And considering the fact that I feel like I'm going backwards on that because of all this technological craziness. Um, and my lack of understanding, like if I consider buying a new phone, that's much more capable or getting a, a better Wi-Fi plan, a Wi-Fi plan at all. I really don't know anything about the phones. I don't know anything about the plans. I'm inexperienced in so many areas that I'm actually working in my phone, YouTube, that um, all of this coming together is just too much. I cannot handle the ongoing frustration with it. And I really want to meet that goal of making my videos better. Oh, by the way, here's my eyes. I just look tired today, so hi, how are you? Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to not upload as many videos for a little bit longer so that I can take the time to uh, use my internet time to really figure out what's going on with this phone um, or research towards getting another one and a plan that works for me. Um, I'm also needing to understand how to buy a computer, which I've never done on my own <sighs> for what my needs are now. Um, and then just general YouTube research. I did some last night and learned so much more about how I get views to my channel or not, like how um, YouTube promotes my video or not, like what the important parts really are, what the numbers mean. So, and then I'm researching the new creator studio that YouTube has been um, pushing going forward. It will be the default studio, so I need to learn it. So, these are some of the things I really need to do to take care of my situation here with my technology and my YouTube. I'm totally frustrated with it, and I'm putting out less than quality that I want to. And I really want y'all to stick around, and I want to find um, more of my what my true niche is here in the YouTube platform. So, um, there's that. The other thing is, looking for a van is very time-consuming and stressful. Um, I basically am stopping looking for a van. There's one more we're probably going to go look at tomorrow. It is a 97 Dodge van, a B3500, 3500. That's a big van. Uh, it's a full-size, big white van with windows all around. It's got the seats in it. I don't know how to get the seats out, but um, that's one of the things... Uh, one of the things that's making this so hard is I don't have anyone to drive with me to help bring both van vans back to Ocean Beach. Uh, my phone won't call South Carolina so I can find out from the DMV if I can just transfer the registration. 
Um, and my phone won't even work to talk with them. Uh, and I don't know, I don't have tools to take out all the seats that are in that van. So there's all of these things I'm coming up against that are discouraging me to go even look at the van. Anyway, it's got 156,000 miles. Uh, it's 2,000 bucks. Clean title and registration and smog. Yeah, we'll have to drive it and see and look under it, look in it, talk to it, listen to it. Other than that, I'm just not going to look for a van anymore. I'm just going to save the money for a repair for this. Meanwhile, try and look get more test drives and diagnoses, which I've been also resistant to doing, to spending that money. Because once I start spending it, I'm committed to this van no matter what we find. Well, in a sense, you know, I will have spent enough that we'll probably have to go down to a minivan, which I have been looking at, but haven't looked directly at any because it's too small. I need to go bigger or keep the same. So that's where I'm at. Also, it's spring and like I really, really need to reorganize stuff. It's not working for me in the van. I haven't been really frustrated with that lately. I just know I need to put some time into it. So that's what I'm going to show you now before I let you go. I need to keep the video short to make sure it'll upload in under five hours. So... <laughs> And I know another thing I need to do is, that I'm doing today is figuring out the settings on here. Ah, blah. It's so frustrating. But let me show you. Thanks for sticking around at this point and let me show you what I'm working on now. I've had to do some organizing in the van. Mainly, um, so firstly, I took the desk out. For those of you that know, I had a desk right here and it really did not end up being a surface. Hi, baby. It's all right. There's Bambi dog somewhere uh it didn't end up working as a good surface for me and it didn't take up a lot of space but it's really heavy and it was really dumb to be carrying around that extra weight that really wasn't working for me so well so i ended up selling that for 20 bucks which was awesome to the single mom setting it up in her um kids new room and um at that point, everything got kind of crazy. That was two days ago because my shipping was in there, my clothing and some food. My food was in like five different places. That is driving me crazy because I don't know what I have to eat. I give up looking and then I go buy something made. That's not good. So now I've taken the food from all five places um, and you can see it there. So that's all the food except for... In here where I have my basic like everyday type things, there's my bowl, my napkins, and my things. So now we have uh, coffee and tea stuff, utensils, some sauces, peanut butter is a standard with um, apples, and um, then the oatmeal is a standard with its condiments, apple cider vinegar, the sugar for the coffee, and salt. So those are standards that now go in this one container, so nice and organized. I'm such a happy camper right now. So there's that. And then the food is going to go, I love that thing. The food is all going to go right there behind Bambi Dog. In that container, which previously held yarn. And now what I've done is I've taken the yarn, I've got a separate container or a bag uh, of yarn under there. And I've gotten rid of this box, which was really useful for a long time holding things. And this old yucky bag had food in it. The other thing I got rid of was my favorite, favorite shoes in the whole world. These served me so well, both dancing and just summer. And any outfit I put on looked cute with these. Any dress. These made the dress good. And I used it in all my photographs of the dresses I make. So this is what I would model in every time. They're gone. They're totally shot. Um, and they're just gross. I can't wear something this gross anymore. But they're completely shot. There's no fixing them. So I finally was able to let them go today. And let me tell you how good it feels to let stuff go. So we did that. And we're organizing that. And after that, Bambi and I are going to go out again. Um, we've got a... Oh, the other thing is, like, since basically it started with this toilet that I got at the van meet, that set everything, started to set everything off. Then Christmas came. Since then, I have acquired so many things in this van that it's really feeling uh, crowded. So I got that pillow for Christmas. Recently, I got that skateboard. I got this hanging basket for my fruit. And all of these things are really super useful. That skateboard, I'm running around. That for the fruit. 
Um, what else? There are some other new things that now I can't seem to remember. <laughs> anyway, so it's suddenly I just had more stuff everywhere, and now the desk was holding that stuff. So we organized, and it feels good. I suggest that you do it as well. And you'll find things that you need to throw out and that you're not using. All right. So I'm going to let you go. I was really glad to do this uh, update for you guys because I'm sure you've been wondering where I'm at. And I don't want to keep you hanging. But um, there will be a little bit less videos coming up for just a minute while I catch up with the technology. And I'm going to be also doing some videos of scenery the scenery here and some of the neighborhoods and cute architectural features and things like that where i'm not doing a vlog all right so i hope you'll enjoy those coming up i really need to go i hope i didn't mess it up and make it too long to upload so thank you for watching thanks for all my new subscribers we'll be back with more interviews and all kinds of van life stuff as well and you have a beautiful day out there bye